Hey guys, Gourmet Trey here, and today, today's video is about my pocket survival kit. This kit is in a tin, fairly larger than an Oswald's tin. Um, I put you can put an Oswald's tin inside here and still put the tin on and put the tin cap on. Um, now this tin is a little bit larger. It gives me about an inch on each side, longer and wider than the Oswald's tin. Um, it's much deeper and thicker than the Altoids tin. Uh, not a break into the kit. Um, I have some electrical tape on the outside to give it a waterproof shell um, for the seal. Uh, gives you a good amount of reusable tape. This tin, it has a click top. And for those of you who don't know what that is, you push it down and it clicks where it holds, and like the Altwood's tin, where it, the Altwood's tin will just pop up and stuff like that, so you need the tape to hold it on there. Inside, it has a rubber seal for extra waterproofing when you want, because it, when it clicks on, that'll break into the kit. Um, the items I have in here, I have two carabiners, two black carabiners. I have some duct tape on wax paper, turns out Wax paper is great for making duct tape flat, um, and it just peels right off without re leaving any residue. I have three normal sized band aids. I have two sheets of paper. I don't have a pencil in here, but I always carry a full size pen in my pocket. I have an MRE pack. MRE pack of coffee, a little caffeine boost. I have a fishing kit with hooks and bobbers, or hooks and sinkers. Two packs of sunscreen, one gram each. I have this little kit, or it's a matches kit. It gives you um, Tinder Quicks. Uh, I have tinder quicks, paper clips, um, needle, and matches, and a striker inside the kit that will keep it dry inside the waterproof tin. And since this tin is a little bit bigger, I decided to add a full size Bic, Bic lighter. It gives me another way to start fire. I have. It's not focusing. I have a mini sewing kit. Uh, P53, I think that is. P53 can opener. A button compass. Pretty accurate. A small ferrocerium rod. Another way to start fire. For the knife, it's the little silver folding knife. I have some tin foil to either disinfect water or cook stuff in, but mostly to disinfect water to put it straight over the fire. I have a little dental floss toothpick uh, for hygiene somewhat. I have a matchstick that doesn't have a match on it because I've cut it off. Um, and a good bit of more electrical tape that you can use to reseal if this tape gets messed up but you can use it to reseal it or just uh, tape stuff. I have a Hank of fishing line that can be used for sewing or you know to catch fish with this kit right here. I have a little bit of wire that you can either use for snares or um, to hang something over a fire, like the tin foil. I have a, I believe this is a 32 ounce bag. Um, it came in an MRE, but it's a hot beverage bag, but I figured I could use it for some wa like water carrying and drinking, and just transportation for liquids. Uh, then I have four, mini zip ties 
for many zip ties. Dental floss can be used for stitching or, or not stitching, but it can be used for a fishing line or just extra cordage because that stuff will not break easily. I have a mini glow stick for just some light. I think it might have cracked in the kit, but I'm not sure. Um, I have a little mini tube of super glue, crazy glue. Uh, it can be used to seal up cuts. Um, yeah, crazy glue. Then I have an extra blade. It's a Sokoa foldable razor blade. A nice thin little razor blade knife. You can get these at like st I, mean, I don't I don't know what stores you can get these at, but they're like a buck. I got this a, um, for a buck at a craft store, so I went ahead and bought it because why not? Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Oh man. Um, share, subscribe, um, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.